uh, he had underwent a cath in 1986 and was told to be surgically very high risk candidate so he was uh, just followed up he was relatively asymptomatic but definitely on restricted activities uh, he presented to us in emergency with progressive worsening of the breathlessness which progressed to grade 4 nyha over a period of seven days and one episode of hematemesis which was three days before the admission on examination he weighs fi around 50 kg with pulse rate of 120 he was having tachycardia with bp of slightly on lower side 92 by 50 there was a deep cent central cyanosis and grade 4 uh, pan digital clubbing his saturation was varying between 20 to 30 percent mm. on examination he had a single second heart sound and grade 2 by 6 ejection systolic murmur in the left upper sternal border so he was managed with the fluid boluses a correction of the acidosis with bicarb metoprolol injections and bipap support but he continued to have desaturation significantly and was intubated after which the saturations improved to 50 to 60 percent he had one episode of pneumothorax also and was acid was put on the right sides he continued to have some episodes of hypotension for which he needed uh, inotropic supports dopa atria and noradrenaline he is currently on his x-ray shows we can see the stomach bubble on the right side and the liver uh, shadow on the left side situs inverses not much of cardiomegaly ctr of around 50 percent and narrow vascular pedicle in the blood investigations his hemoglobin is 14 grams per uh, deciliter pcu of 46 mild uh, iron deficiency anemia creatine is 0.9 echo this is subcostal view uh, showing aorta in the center and the ivc we can see uh, dilated on the right right left hand left hand side sorry so history of situs inverses ivc was congested and was draining into the left sided right atrium this is apical four chamber view showing large inlet vsd and vsd was shunting bidirectionally ventricular function was mildly impaired on the both sides parasternal long axis view showing some subaortic extension of the vsd and the vsd was shunting bidirectionally arch was right sided with mild flow reversal in the arch uh, to delineate the further anat anatomy we did a ct which was showing uh, hypoplastic branch base rp was around 12 millimeter and lp was 11 millimeter this is again reconstructed images uh, showing aorta anterior aorta which is dilated arising from the anterior right ventricle and the posteriorly located uh, pulmonary artery which is arising from the left ventricle morphology so final di diagnosis situs inversus leocardia av and va discordance corrected transposition of great arteries large inlet vsd shunting bidirectional severe infundibular and valvular ps hypoplastic branch ps right arch mild biventricular dysfunction and systemic venous congestion thank you uh, can uh, camera alone show not like uh, take away the fluoro all those things okay c come here come here see the this is uh, actually something like a patient who came yesterday to our icu and so we thought we will involve everybody in the decision making process a 42 year old guy univent univentricular heart severe pulmonary stenosis presenting with critical hypoxia now uh, uh, the the uh, what will how will you how will you palliate him what are the issues about doing an iatropulmonary shunt versus cavopulmonary shunt versus spontane completion at the age of 43? So, uh, what what is going to be the like likelihood of his survival during these procedures? Uh, what 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 do you all feel, Dr. Chetan, Dr. Bharat? Go on, Bharat. Situs inverses, levocardia, corrected transposition, non-rotable VSD. Severe pulmonary stenosis. Actually, it's a DORV. It's a DORV uh, character transposition. PS. My personal feeling is that he has probably viewed his natural history, so I'm not sure. Correct. That, uh, he is stuck on the ventilator now. Yeah. So I would not uh, really uh, take him to an operating room. That is for sure. So having said that, if okay. he is very sick and you want to bail him out. pulmonary blood flow and might uh, make it less simple uh, maybe for a few months or a few weeks but I can't predict but that would be probably the only palliation I could do yeah. sure, no, I couldn't uh, the, the, the issue is uh, 
Yeah. yeah sorry, uh, is this ventricles? The, the, the issue is, uh, the what will happen to the AV? Ventricles are balanced, but the VSD is inlet that it is not rootable. So then I think the only way you can improve his quality of life is to improve the pulmonary blood flow. And if you're not going to send him for surgery, then I think RVOT stenting is a possibility. The only thing you have to be careful about in CCTGA is the risk of heart block. Yeah. So how to, how to predict it, how to avoid it? You can't. Do you believe that in situs inversus levocardia, the posterior AV node is the main node and not the anterior node? In the, unlike in situs solitus uh, character transposition, in situs inversus character transposition, is there a difference in the location of the AV node? Both places, that's right. I think it's, but still, doing the catheter procedure is going to be very difficult uh, to avoid touching, not knowing where exactly the AV node is going to be. How can you say on floor oh, this is the area I'm going to avoid touching? It's very that's difficult. That's, that's what, see, okay. So, so, uh, what is your plan? Sir? Yeah, we don't know the AV you node position. Your plan? Well, you can see he's already crossed the. I was thinking about assessing his hemodynamics. So, I'll tell the numbers. The right atrium, left atrium, pulmonary vein were all in and around 8 to 9. The ventricular ED is around 10. The pulmonary artery mean pressure is 14. Show the, show the first angiogram. I'll show the picture. First, 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 first picture. Ah, okay, show. So this is the, this is the main pulmonary artery. Severely obstructed outflow tract. DORV, both the great arteries are arising from the same right-sided ventricle with a demalposed diurta. When I go from the aorta, uh, when I go from the right atrium into the left ventricle, which is located on the left side, my uh, catheter courses through the inlet VSD, enters into the right ventricle and enters into the uh, aorta, I am not able to enter into the pulmonary artery. What I am asking you, Shiva, is that after having kept your retrograde catheter into the pulmonary artery as a road map, are you able to enter uh, yeah. the pulmonary artery or still you are not able to enter? Show the next, 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 next picture. Okay, so this is the, this is with the guidance I am trying. I went in, so this is the, this is the position where we are going in. But the, the tight narrowing that is present in that infundibulum, you see that? Yeah. See, I am pushing. What is happening is the catheter buckles out and it's not able to pass. That, that, see, that, that, is, that is the PA. Okay. Show the next picture. So basically, anti-grade flow, uh, anti-grade passage, wire, wire I am able to get it with some difficulty, mm -hmm. but even a four French right coronary artery catheter is not able to manipulate that acute turn. I am not uh, saying that it's such a narrow outflow tract. It's some sort of crooked outflow tract. Yeah, I want to make a comment. In the about meantime, this man developed a about the AV conduction in CCTG. Yeah. It's not as well studied as other diseases, and uh, the specimens which were studied were quite limited, and there are no uh, uh, good data on situs inverses. Although from clinical uh, perspective, we know that the probably the incidence of CHB in situs inverses with character transposition is lesser, but uh, uh, still whatever uh, uh, morphological things have shown, it is still says that the conduction system runs very close to the pulmonary valve and uh, you run a high risk of uh, heart block. Uh, but uh, in a given situation, can you can take that uh, uh, like perspective like and then decide what you want to do, whether you can accept a heart block or not, but that remains. I think in Birmingham, we have a fair amount of CCTG experience and because we have a double switch program. And I think every time we take this patient to cath lab or even a diagnostic catheter to see how band is effective or not, we are like, always yes. say the risk of heart block is very high. Yes. And a lot of times you do get heart block, you recover from it, but then the patient develops heart block a bit later. So you don't understand this fully. No, in situs inverses versus situs solitus, it is the difference in the uh, at atrial and the ventricular male alignment. 
so that makes the difference but still it is lying subpulmonary and there is a high risk of block in these patients I must say we see lot more situs inverses uh, inverses with AV discord, AV and V discord as rather than situs solitus. So, so in inverses, do you think it is uh, higher than what has been reported? I, I think it it is pretty much the same because we have seen heart blocks, a lot of them requiring pacemaker as well. Uh, because the literature is not as clear as you are suggesting. I think we we probably have not looked at it specifically. Yes. So, Sabra, so Sabra. So so uh, sure you you associate with the Bob Anderson a lot. Yeah. So what is your impression about situs inverses versus situs solitus in character transposition in terms of uh, AV nodal uh, conduction location? Yeah, that's what like, I was uh, just trying to. We know that in situs solid. Yeah, from the clinical experience, yeah. I feel that it is lesser. But as Dr. Chetan also mentioned, we have not looked at it prospectively. That is somewhere down the line in uh, our plans to look at it carefully. And one study which was done at All India Institute, never not published as a full paper, it was published as an abstract uh, in uh, IHJ uh, in uh, uh, early 90s, which showed that the conduction system problems are lesser in situs inverses. Uh, and uh, when I talked to the guys who are working on conduction system in heart specimens, they said that uh, CCTGA is something which is not well studied in terms of the location, but whatever they have studied, it seems that it lies uh, very close to the pulmonary valve. Shiva, I was going to suggest, um, uh, is it worth trying from the neck to see whether you can get the catheter towards the, if you come from the neck uh, and you cross the uh, right side AV valve, or oh no, it's the other way around, isn't it? The left side AV valve and see whether you can cross the VASD more easily. Yeah, the purpose of taking up this cath uh, as, a, as a live demonstration in an interventional meeting was that, you know, there are going to be situations where uh, we desire something but we will not be able to implement because of the complexities of the anatomy. Uh, the, the natural history at this age probably tells us that uh, whatever be the type of palliation that he undergoes, uh, he probably is going to remain sick. So we, we wish to give him a transcatheter option, understanding that the AV node is at a risk. However, uh, there are certain practical difficulties. Now, since the time is running short, I, I would like you to go for the master's uh, like, uh, know, nightmare presentation. Uh, let me, like the moment you are, uh, you are through with, I think, uh, I think one or two presenters are not there. Edwin could not come and I think uh, Biswajit has already left. So probably you will have uh, less of the seniors uh, presenting. Let me have the opportunity to present the last nightmare, which, I, which is going to be my first case on this ACT. And then uh, let me also take the pleasant opportunity to thank each one of you and welcome you for the next version. Uh, let me be called again uh, when, when the, the, la, the penultimate uh, nightmare presentation is over. Can you tell us about what happened to your patient? Did you not manage to... The previous one, uh, I decided that uh, since the wire loop, uh, I was not able to get a position from the right atrium to left ventricle, you enter the right ventricle and get it into the pulmonary artery anti-grade, and I was getting only retrograde. Uh, the retrograde, I didn't have a long sheath which will go all the way from the RV uh, and then enter into the pulmonary artery. I tried the longest 90 centimeter uh, shuttle sheath and it was just reaching the apex of the right ventricle and it was not turning around. So I have to plan something differently. I will also discuss with the surgeons. I will discuss with the uh, relatives a little bit more about uh, the, the issues of, uh, you know, his advanced age univentricular heart. And then, uh, then I will come back uh, to, to this patient maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow after some more homeworks. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Sensible. I am I am open to I am open to receiving a lot of WhatsApp messages from you about what you will approach and I will try to implement uh, whatever is feasible. Okay, do you want to get on with your okay, Do you want to get on with your presentation, Shivana? Yeah. So